All right, last but not least, the king. So the hard part with the king is creating the top part. So we're just going to use a create polygon tool. We're going to just essentially draw this out. And then we're just going to use the multi cut tool. Make sure that there's no five sided triangles. Draw off into triangles, quads, like that. Extrude it. Thickness. I think that should be okay with the thickness. Maybe a little bit more, maybe. Like that. In the center of the pivot. Snap to the grid. It's right in the center. I'm going to make sure that tops essentially snap to each other, make sure it's completely aligned. What I also could do is I can just uh, align this perfectly straight. And then I can just delete one side near it. Mirror this. Let's go mirror. Uh, we're on the x minus axes. It didn't work. Kill history. Sure. Um. This is inverted, so we get stuck in the faces, reverse normals. I'm gonna bridge these together. Now we can kill history. We're going to mirror. That still didn't work. Merge verts. Okay, now let's go mirror. World. Touch image of world. X minus Y. Still not working, so it's really weird how that's not working here. Um, okay, let's not merge. Do not merge. Okay, so that's not working. Freeze transforms. Maybe that's it. Nope. Okay, so the easy way to do this now is just duplicate it, rotate it. Rid of that mirror, go to top view, isolate, bring this all the way to the x axis, mirror it. There we go. It just needed to be because it was on origin, that's why I was doing that. Um, it's just on the origin, it needs to be on the origin. So when you go to mirror mode, I guess I had it on world instead of object. If it was on object, it probably would have been fine. Um, okay, so then now we just need to kind of bring these up. A little bit. Snap this so it looks a little bit nicer. There you go. Okay. So now, we just do the base. Okay, cylinder. cylinder. Middle there. Bring this all the way down. Snap this to the vertices there. I'm gonna go multi cut. Here. Essentially, wherever there's a big change. In the silhouette, that's where I'm essentially cutting. Hopefully, that should be enough cuts there. You see, I'm gonna scale this in, scale this in as well. There we go. 
massaging everything to make it fit and look pretty. Select this versus here. Like I said, this isn't um, anything new that we're doing here. We've already been doing this essentially on all of the other pieces. So this this shouldn't be new to anybody. Then down this snap to there. Multi cut. We'll create another edge loop here to kind of create this inset. Clean that up. Delve these in a little bit. Dodge that. I'm going to scale this up a bit. Some of this stuff in. Scale that in. Gonna bring this up. Scale that. Gonna add another edge loop. You know, to match this side. I'm aiming to match just one side. No way that you can match both. Might be worth adding another edge loop here. Or add to that shape. Same with this one over here as well. We definitely need to add one more here. Got these roots. Build this up. Almost done. Complete history. We're gonna add in another sphere, and this time the sphere we're gonna make it a lot lower poly. Say eight divisions, so this is gonna be the top part. Scale this perfectly to the center. Ah. Like that. Good. Now. There we have it. This should be good. So let's combine. Let's soften up these edges here. No, oh, so we'll soften the edge with this. We're gonna combine it. Go history. King zero one. Uh, there we have it. We have all the pieces of the chest piece from the pawn. The rook, the knight, the bishop, the queen, and the king. 